Welcome to WebGility Recap, a series of videos aimed at getting you started using WebGility. In this video, we'll go over the process of connecting QuickBooks Desktop to your WebGility Desktop software. Once you've connected your first store using WebGility Desktop, you'll be prompted to connect your accounting software. If you connected a store or ERP before, you'll be asked if you'd like to use the existing connection. But in this case, we use a new one. From the account POS ERP software dropdown, you'll select either QuickBooks Pro Premier version 2005 and up or Enterprise version 2005 and up. In this case, it'll be Enterprise. For the company, company file location, you can find the file path by pressing F2 in your QuickBooks Enterprise application. This is under the file information and you can copy and paste everything after the location. Once you copied and pasted it, go ahead and exit out of this dialog box to make sure it doesn't interfere with the connection. And then paste it in the company file location box here. Make sure you're logged in as admin and in single user mode for this connection, otherwise the connection might have issues. When you connect, you'll see a dialog box open up in QuickBooks asking for application access. You'll want to select the yes, always allow access, even if QuickBooks is not running. I don't have that dialog box now as I've already connected, but you should see it pop up on your end. And once you give access, this will allow WebGility to post orders and sync inventory even when you might not have QuickBooks open. Click the last box for allowing access to personal data. And don't worry, we do allow you to delete it out of WebGility whenever you'd like and hit continue. From there, you should be brought back to WebGility and your QB items and other data should be downloading or already downloaded. This can take some time depending on how many items you do have in your company file. Hitting continue will bring you to a screen confirming some preliminary settings for order posting and statuses. If you're connecting a Shopify store, you'll need to select a sync location before continuing. Congratulations, you're connected and now can proceed to the posting settings which we'll cover in a future video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.